You're going to be able to hear me over my engine, um, but we're out here in Mansfield State Forest. Um, so just left Carter's Road and went out on Doherty's Road, just out here on a casual ride. Um, New Year's Eve, just it is quite hot, so I'm taking it fairly easy because I'm pretty easily going to build up a sweat. And Zach's uh, kicking up a bit of uh, dust out there on the DR. really have a script for this video just sort of gotta keep it pretty pretty chill um, I will eventually talk about the EWR as a beginner as a dirt bike it's definitely not a beginner dirt bike um, in one of my next videos but today I just want to get some nice footage of a nice ride uh, yeah but um yeah, I've definitely got a little bit more power than Zach out in front of me. Um, but he's borrowing our friend's DR, who's God knows where he is. Um, he's way ahead of us, guys in that case. Um, yeah. So we're just taking it fairly easy. It's actually been really nine months since I've had a good dirt ride. Uh, eight months, eight months. Um, supposed to go on one a couple of weeks ago, but uh, what happened was is one of the guys we were riding with, maybe two or three minutes into the ride, ended up oh, breaking a collarbone and five ribs, uh, about 300 meters into the ride. So I didn't really. I didn't even turn the GoPro on before that happened. And... Thanks, Zach. Yeah. So we're just out here having a chill time. There's Nathan on his KTM. Uh, it's 500. Four stroke, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, fuck. Um, we went out boating yesterday. Our mate with the boats couldn't come riding, and that's why he came up with the boat yesterday. Um, so I might sneak in some footage of that. So far, the channel's mostly been road videos. Um, and that's purely because um, uh, purely because I've just been out on more road rides recently. It'll probably still be pretty road dominant with the occasional dirt bike one. Dirt bike I'm probably gonna do a little bit less commentary. Um, just because my dirt skills are below average. Yeah, you'll notice if you ride both, um, you'll notice the big disparity between my road skills and my dirt skills. Um, that's purely, I have a lot more subtle time on the road. But yeah, so we're out south of Carter's Road, um, just west of Buller. Um, like I've been trying to do, I'll pop up a map of where we started. Here comes Nathan. Oh, he's not close. We're just going to chill. Oh, I thought you said stop. <laughs> The other thing is, I'm actually sore all over already. Um, 
Is that mate that we went out boating with? Got the inflatable tube out. Let's just say he threw me off a few times. Straight. Cool. Um, <laughs> I mean, I told him to just do his best to throw me off. and Because um, I thought it would be funny. But I didn't take into account how sore I'd be the next morning. Oh, and that exhaust sounds amazing. Alright, now this looks like a... Crossroads. Go that way. The other thing is, this is a really popular track with four wheel drives. So especially if you're the lead bike, you got to take it nice. And always have that little bit of, you know, um, just because neither me or Zach are ready for singles. Um, so we have to go on tracks that are really popular with. drives which means you've got to be aware of people coming the other way Nutbag's always doing something crazy. <sighs> Going up there. Wait, really? No. <laughs> I was like, I saw you like half fail it, so I was like, uh, are you sure? <laughs> so Zach's, uh, the helmet was a bit too small for him because he was borrowing one of Nathan's and he was getting a bit of headache so he's heading back to the car and calling it a day um, which kind of sucks for him but it is what it is he'll just have a swim by the river and we are at some sort of campsite But it looks a little bit close to a main road because some of the cars I saw seem pretty inept for epic four wheel driving. Or maybe I'm just going crazy. Probably the latter. Yeah, it's been a really good ride. Really enjoying it. Um, I think there's some negative pressure on my fuel because fuel lights on even though tanks over half full still. Good night to go. So we'll find out where we are in a second. How so we're on the Howcourt River, which... Yeah, that car's definitely... Ah, Sheepyard Flat. Alright, awesome, I know where we are. Yep. 
Evet. İyi. Yeah, so this is Shipyard Flat South Campground. Just cruising through here. Don't want to disturb this people's serenity. Too much. So yeah, we're just near the Hauka River. Nathan said it gets a little bit tricky up here, so I'm not going to send it too hard. Alright, um, I'm actually going to end the video here today guys thanks for watching um, so we'll actually be making a part two of the how can New Year's Eve ride um, so I hope you're enjoying so far hope you're enjoying our little adventure hope that this is a road, road that you get to take some time um, make sure to like subscribe and leave a comment on the video if you enjoyed it um, look forward to giving you some more content like this and we'll be picking up right where we leave off in this video so just leave shipyard flight in the next one Alright, thanks for watching guys, I'll see you next time.